Right after launch, we started tracking the balloon's location. As it ascended to the stratosphere, we temporarily lost signal from the balloon's two tracking systems as expected. More unexpected was that we didn't hear from it the rest of the night. After several hours of searching, we started getting anxious. Here's a sheesh on where he thinks it landed. So this is 100,000 feet. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing if it bursts early, it'll be somewhere along this path. Yeah. So it'll eat up into, it'll make us go further north because we won't be going doing this southern part. After a couple hours of sleep, the next morning, we headed to the airport to try and find the payload from above. We ran trajectory simulations and came up with possible landing locations to fly over. We brought a radio receiver and our best pairs of eyes. The idea was to drive to a nearby trailhead, start snowshoeing along a ridge, drop down to a frozen river, then follow it to the backside of another mountain. The problem was that it was getting late in the day. Here's us debating whether or not we should go. If it's flat, I think we can actually do more than two miles an hour. But you said it's, it's really flat. a 1,200 foot climb. It is supposed to snow tonight. The, the last mile is breaking trail. I mean, we can always just wait for tomorrow mm. if it's daylight. I mean, we don't have to go today if you guys don't want to go. Uh, no. Uh, no, I think we all know we're going. If we eat quickly now, it's an hour and if we head there. out, I think we can be at the trailhead by 4. Alright, we've actually got the coordinates. We're off with the ultimate balloon recovery, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Good light. Oh yeah.